Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. It shall be. And we are. Where are we anyway? On Brynlaw, an island here. At the, uh, you know. Off, off the coast of the Salt Coast, so to say. Is this still the Salt Coast or is the Salt Coast more up north? I don't know. But quite, you know, southwards. We just slew a few vampires at the end of the last video. Nothing too fancy. They didn't even level drain us. Courtesan. Adante, you pay, you will. I'll see to it. I stand by my claims. A pox on your father's father if you think otherwise. I've never been so insulted in all my born days. You, sir, are a rooter. Stow it off. Stow it in your after deck, mix up. Gentlemen, if you please, I have three other duels to govern today and I haven't time for the particulars of each. Quite alright from my standpoint. His commentary on my lineage demands blood. And his constant bluffing demands uh, me boot to his backside. I'll do you for that right straight I will. Then bring your weapons to bear gentlemen I will duly record the outcome and prevent any investigation of impropriety. Huh? He means he'll make sure you I don't get in trouble for killing your sorry posterior. That's the last I hear from your pompous tongue I swear. Well then, go ahead and kill yourself. Culture will defeat you loutish brutness each and every time. Well spotted, sir. I shall have the Desharic appraised of the results. Okay. Let's take a look at a map. Oh, we don't know anything. Lady Galvina's Festival. Callahan. Courtesan. Courtesan. Okay. Ooh, one gold coin. Don't give me too much. Hello, mate. What's the good word then? Callahan, I be Scar of the Seven Seas. Well, Matt, what is it that you do here in Brynlaw? Smuggling mostly. A bit of petty theft when I'm bored. You know, the usual. Of course, the usual. What do you know about the asylum? Nothing, sir. I don't be dealing with such and like. Callahan, I'll smuggle some olive oil for you if you wish. Forget it. Is there anything of interest happening here in town? Aye, this is a place of adventure, Brunlon is. If by adventure you mean drinking and other shore... Drinking and other shore leave activities. Why the crew of the Bleed Mary just got in? Drinking up a storm, there is. Mm, that sounds exciting. I'll believe you now. Bye. So he has a name, but he's useless anyway. And there's a door here. Let's walk into it. The vulgar monkey. Who are you? Tremmy. Keep moving, friend. I don't have time to talk. I'm waiting for my employees. Fine. Screw yourself then. Ooh, a gem. Let's check out that monkey. Drunken sailor. Consider it done. I don't talk to drunken sailors. Senic. Pirate Newt. Courtesan. Innkeeper. Captain Bob Holmes. Oh well. Give me that. And that's Pirate Bill. Pirate Dan. Pirate Paul. Pirate Jimmy. Are you in a grog drinking contest? Let's start with him here. The seas are sure rough this time of year. Meat and grog, innkeep. Nothing like some mm, time ashore. Not All I need yes. is some grog and a good lass on Greetings, friend. I'm Senek. You must be new to Fair Brynlaw. Whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? I'm Haber Chiblomi. I just recently arrived from Athkatla. Welcome then. There will soon be a vacancy here for in town for I intend to leave at the earliest opportunity. 
Truly, what is it that causes you to flee? Flee is not a word I like. It is merely a misunderstanding with the local guild mistress. My new wife and I shall take an expanded trip until things settle. What in the... Is someone behind me? No, in front of you. Behind me. Yes. What treachery is this? Who are you? Hello, Sanic. The Lady Galvena sends her greeting. She dislikes being crossed. You! The girl is free and you have no claim on her. Leave us be. Free? Hardly. The lady will not brook her properly being stolen. You shall pay for your theft. Speak not of my Claire as if she is an object. She is no longer Galvena's lackey. She is my love and she is free of your foul touch. Ah, a romantic. Perhaps your death will serve some bard well. Fuck you. As for you being friends of Galvena's enemy makes you her enemy too. Die fools. Oh really. So, we attack you. What is my task? Mm, time to use that stuff here. Yeah. I will do my best. By Umberley's teeth, I guess we won. Who killed him? Oh, 20 damage. <laughs> All right. By Umberley's teeth. Who does Galvena think she is? Assassinations in the Valga Monkey? That uppity wench. Inkeep, you seem to know something of this. Why has this man been killed? Huh? What do you care? You've only just met him. That is my business. Who was the assassin and why did he perform this foul deed? I, if only to teach the wo woman to keep her affairs out of my tavern, I will tell you what I know. The assassin was slain by Lady Galvena, the mistress of the local courtesan's guild. You can't see how, in a port full of sailors, such an undertaking would bring the women power and wealth. Uh, so much is obvious. What disagreement did she have with Sanic? Sanic, the fool, fell in love with one of Galvena's girls, Claire, and she with him. He took her from the guildhouse and proclaimed her his life. Galvena is a harsh woman. She considers the courtesans her property. She accused Sanic of theft and he scorned her in public. The whole town knows of it. This then was Galvena's reply. I suspect the girl Claire suffers even as we speak. Truly an injustice has been performed. Where is this girl, Claire? The guild has a house on the west side of Brynlaw. Customers who pay well can conduct their business in a bedroom within the guild house. I suspect that Galvina has already taken the girl there to be punished. Is the place guarded? How would I enter? You could get in as everyone else does as a paying customer. Galvena keeps both male and female courtesans for either taste. Failing that, you would have to kill several well-trained guards. I also hear that Galvena keeps a pet wizard. Either way, it's foolish in my opinion. Is there anyone else that could tell me how to get into the Spellhold Asylum? If you're sure that Seni... Huh? How do we get to the uh, Spellhold Asylum now? Here I wanted to get into a whorehouse. <sighs> if you're sure that Senig knew how, then perhaps he told his young bride. Oh, oh! I guess I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Maybe I should have been looking for him, you know, because he had information on how to get into the spell hold. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, if, sh if you're sure that Senig knew how, then perhaps he told his young bride. I don't see how you can ask her though. Yeah, we already had that. I thank you for your help. I shall leave. As you like. Nothing like some time ashore. All I need is some oh my and a good lass on me lap. He didn't even have anything on him. He did though. Arrows plus one. Who has them? I guess you have them. I had the short bow plus one. I don't think I need those stakes anymore. Who are you? Curtisan, pirate. Pirate Scotty. And you are pirate Newt. We start with you. Okay, I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that too. 
Nothing like some time ashore. Okay. All I need is some grog okay. and they're all singing glass. apparently. A quick prayer to Umberly is all that stands between me and the sea's bottom. Sure enough, eh? Sure Ahoy there, mate. Pull you up a chair and let us carouse together. We all here be sailors of the Bleeding Mary, test now land livers wild on shore leave. From where do you hail, sailor? What's that? I, I be salt encrusted, I be a salt encrusted citizen of the high seas, I be. And a ten time survivor of the scurvy wasten. Of course. Ah, I won't lie to you. We've come for a Baldur's Gate. Sailors we worse but pirates will be. Unfortunate business with our employer, you understand. A nasty bugger by the name of Sarabok. Killed poor Zeki did. We had to skip town right quick when a man called Haywitcher blew me <laughs> when a man <laughs> called Haywitcher blew me up and killed him. Now we'll be pirates. Oh yeah, guess what's my name? Man? I need a swig or some strong. I may bend your ear for a second. What a what do you call a fish with no eyes? Psh, ha ha ha. Yeah, landlubber have ever saw one, mate. Oh well. Nothing like some time ashore. Never had. What do you be wanting here? Hmm? This ain't the friendliest place for strangers to be walking about. I have coin in my purse and I will to spend it. Are you going to turn me away? Not at all, not at all. There may be unfriendly faces around, but the paying customer is always welcome here. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. So, well, the best way to get into the whorehouse would be to ask the court or so. Let's try that. Not this one, apparently. I came up from where? Yes. Um. Oh, here. There were a few courtesans here, if I'm not wrong. Where's the girl? I'm a fine-looking strumpet. A fine lady, ye. Would you care for a decent night of pleasure in me arms? This is only a meager cost for so much, eh? Actually, I'm looking for a girl named Claire. Perhaps you know her. I I know who you're talking about, sir, but I'm not one to go on gabbing about things I shouldn't. Miss Galvina wouldn't permit it. Lady Galvina won't know you said anything. You can trust me, friend. Well, you seem like a fine sort. And soon it knows it'd be an awful thing what Miss Galvena has done to the last. Fine, I'll tell you what happened to Claire. Claire's boyo was determined to take her away, see? He told off Miss Galvena, said he were taking Claire to a better place and that were all there was to it. Poor Claire believed him too, believed that Miss Galvena might do nothing about it. Um, Miss Galvena doesn't let none of us go, you can be sure of that. Claire we were waiting outside the guildhouse for her boy to come, but Miss Galvena had him killed and she took Claire inside the guildhouse and locked her up. I don't claim to know what Miss Galvena is going to do to Claire, but it's a terrible thing to be sure. No one stands up to Miss Galvena and gets away with it. Hmm. I plan on standing up to her. I'll kill her if I get a chance. I? I'd be willing to take a chance on that. I'd give her free... I'd give a lot to be free of Miss Galvina. I can maybe help you get inside the guildhouse, I think. I can get you into my room, but once you leave, you'll be dealing with the guards. If you want to move about secret-like, I can help you with that as well. Tell me how to go about this guildhouse secretly, then. If you want to be walking around the guildhouse, you need a medallion. All of Miss Galvina's courtesy and masters wear them. This is how the guards recognize them. Wait a moment, wouldn't they know that I don't work for Lady Galvina anyway? Medallion or no? Miss Galvina be hiring new masters all the time. You could bluff your way past the guards if you had a medallion. Them guards won't care enough to check. Okay, so how do I get one of these medallions then? 
I know, that's tough. All of the courtes and masters have one, but they mostly stay in the guild house. Shamri will be about out and about, I think. You could get his. Who is Shamri? I think we already met him. He's one of the crueler masters he is. I hear he's been watching the new last genia. Poor girl. Shamri doesn't trust her a wink. And she's done nothing. So, if I find his Shamri and take his medallion, I should be able to get inside. I Track him down. If you're... You may want to come back to me and I'll tell you if it's the right one. Never know how much a jewelry nasher like Shamri will have, right? Okay. I think, where's Shamri? I think he was upstairs here. Looking for his employee or something. Yeah, well, he finds something different. Hi! Guess what happens now? What do you require? Yes? Very well. You need something stranger. Get out of my face before I smash yours in. I know that you work for Galvena and I want your medallion to gain entrance to the fest hall. The medallion fool? You will die for your audacity. Lady Galvena shall receive your head as a trophy. Oh really? We shall see about that. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to attack you. Like that. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes! Yeah! Hmm. That was rather easy. Tensor's transformation. I think everybody already has that. Yep. I guess I have to use that. Wrong item type? Uh, where do I put that? Apparently nowhere at all. Let's get back to the courtesan. There she is. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? So, does he have the medallion then, sir? I think so. Is this it? Aye, that'd be it, sure enough. Now, you can use that to pluff your way past the guards, or I can take you up to me room. That way you start from within, your choice. Hmm, okay. Take me inside then. Righto, follow me then, my dear. It isn't far from here, your friends can come too. Oh, gangbang. If they like to watch. Oh, just if they like to watch. Okay. If you want to go strapping with this nab, you'll first have to give up the socket money. So, I be thinking, sir, the guard won't likely let you peep around even with your medallion. Lady Galvana don't let him courtesy and masters too much, really. Oh, you could have said that before we killed the fucker. Miss Galvana gives us a draw of the potion that we're supposed to be using on customers with a uh, weighty purse. Put him to sleep, you understand? If he doesn't wish to fight, he could take the draw to the cook, perhaps, convince him to put it in the food and knock everyone out, make it easy. How am I supposed to convince the cook to do this? I have no idea, sir, it was just a thought. Does he wish to draw it anyway? Sure, I'll see what I can do. As you wish, sir, good luck to you. If you can truly free me and the others, we'll be surely grateful to you. Sure, freeing horse, that's what I do every day. Done. So, well, apparently there's... that's... The only exit is the stairs. Okay, we don't know where the cook is though. As you ask. Okay, that appears to be a dead end. A bad end. It's probably just. What do you one. need? Enjoy your stay at Lady Galvana's fest hall. It shall be. What do you need? Okay. So that's probably the entrance. Consider it done. Oh, I get it. Well, that wasn't difficult. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. I await your word. So that was the room. No. With the curtain in it. Yep. It's 
Consider it done. There's another one here. Declare yourself. Eh? Who do you think you're walking about at the lady's place as if you own it? A million you recruit. What is behind these doors that you guard? The ladies' chambers are in the cells where male contents and troublemakers are kept. I'm looking for a girl named Claire. Do you know where she is? The lady's taking care of her in the prison. You're not allowed in. Now get lost. We're busy. Fine. I'm not worried. I'm sure the. What's your tale? Hmm? Who in the hell do you think you are? That's the kitchen. Okay. This is my kitchen. Fast hall or not. I take pride in my job. Oh, leave the poor man alone, Ellie. He's probably one of the new ones that the lady has brought in. It just means more work for me, girl. Madam, I assume that you must be the cook of whom all the gods sing praises. Those smelly cell swords, I hardly think that they would say such about me. They have no respect for anyone other than the Lady Galvena, fearsome wench that she is. I assume that you are not fond of either the guards nor Lady Galvina. This would be a correct assumption, but don't be telling Galvina about it. I should like to keep my tongue. I have heard much of Lady Galvina's evil and I intend to put a stop to it. Will you help me in exchange for your freedom? Ooh, intrigue! Quiet you. Make yourself useful and peel some potatoes. Yes, Ellie. I will do my best. What's your tale? Now, what in the blazes are you bluffing about? Even if you're joking, Galvina will have your tongue if she hears about it, till if she can get to it. I'm here to find a girl named Claire. I'm under the impression that Galvina holds her captive somewhere within. I need your help to free her. Galvina is very angry at the girl. I just could just kill everybody here. That would be much easier. She has her locked up in the dungeon and no doubt she is being punished as we speak. She may be dead already. Uh, we are the girl all heroes. Shut the you fuck up, man. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! The girl must be saved. With your help I can save her and both of you as well. Will you help? I'm just a cook. Of what use would I be? From the courtesan who brought me here, I have obtained a bottle of sleeping draught. Could you not slip it to them? It would work. I could put it in their ale, but they would not trust you or drink what you give them. I could take it to the guards, Ali. God, you don't want to risk your neck for a man's, for this man's suicidal plan. I've been torn from my family and forced into servitude by Gal Galvina. I don't know how much longer I can take it. Already this man has gotten this far. If I don't do this, I may be free. If I do this, I may be freed. I must try. I am old and tired. Even Galvena, if Galvena kills me, I won't be missing much. As for you, if we take care of the gods, you had better take this all the way. We shall die if you don't. My resolve is strong, and I need Claire's help regardless. Let's do it. Give me the draw there. I shall pour three marks one for each of the two guards at the doors. When they are asleep, the girl will enter Galvina's chamber where Rearidus stands guard. Kill Rearidus and get the prison key. Galvina is in the prison. She may have her pet wizard with her, a dangerous man. If Claire is not dead, you shall have her. And we shall have our freedom. Galvina must die. Above all else, remember that. Here, girl. Take the ale and go. Okay. Don't worry. We will slay that bitch. Hello there. Fellow, follow me, sir, but stay back. This will be interesting. Declare yourself. Well, look who's come by again. Ready for a little fun, girl? Our shift could end whenever you wish. We'll show you the good time that your drunken clients can, eh? It's tempting. I've brought you a bit of ale. Standing guard can be such thirsty work. Well, that's more like it. Give me one of those mugs. Hmm, this is good. This is a pleasant aftertaste. Yes, yeah, pleasant. It's a bit hot in here. I just need to sit down for a moment. I too, I... Uh. Hello there. It worked, my lord. 
Captain Reards is in Lady Galvana's room. Follow me. The key to the cells can be found within. Okay. Yes. I trust you have no hostile intentions. Oh yes, we have hostile intentions. Just wait and see. What is the meaning of this intrusion? You know that you are forbidden to enter the lady's room, girl. The lady asked me to bring you d bring this to you. She said that you deserved a break. Did she? It's high time that my loyal service was recognized. Very well, let's have it. Here, Captain. Enjoy. Who is that behind you? They should not be here. Get rid of them now. Uh, clients, Captain. I'll take them out of the room with haste. Please drink up. Alright, I suppose that you'll need the tankard back. It's good, but I... I... Well, this is... Ugh. Hello there. It is finished, sir. Please find the key and free poor Claire. I have done all that I can do. Good luck and thank you for what you are about to do for us. Yeah, don't worry. Very well. So, well, I guess you have 4000 XP. Awesome. This could be trapped. I am ready, I think. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe not. It's not trapped. Give the key to Haywood. What is my task? And I don't know what you're thinking, but I say we slay that bastard. You will fall yet. He's an evil man, and he does. A mug of ale. You can keep that. On my honor. What do you require? And we will slay those guys too. Ah, that's not right! Not yeah, right. We can't get to him. Death. As you ask. For the fallen! Easy. I know they were asleep, but they were evil and all. You know. And it would be quite humiliating to awake and see your, um, you know, your mistress killed and all. So, yes, I think we're actually doing them a favor. Nah, I'm just being cynical here. All right then. It shall be. Okay, I know where she is. She's probably in here. I take no pleasure in speaking and to one as low such as you. a sentence of death has been imposed on you, Claire. Please, I have served you for years. Why could you not let me go? Silence. The punishment is severe and immediate. An example shall be made of you as was made of your husband, Senek. I should think that, Galvena, we have guests. Hmm? So we do. Who are you, man? Where are my useless guards? Your enslavement of these men and women is over, foul wench. No longer will you profit over their sweat. It ends today. Hold back, Vedek. What do you make of this? Uh, arrogance is a common trait among the drags of adventuring. Well put. I would say that the lesson in humility is in order. Vedek, begin the lesson. With pleasure. Okay. How about What is my task? Who am I? How about we fuck you up? Go for the eyes, fool. Go for the eyes. You don't hide from me. I shall not be The mage is dead. The woman dies too. How do you like damn apples? Consider it done.
So, I don't think we need those medallions anymore. Oh, it doesn't fit in there. What do you require? Hmm? Let's do some looting. Hello there. Oh, thank you. She was going to kill me. Did Senex send you? I must go and find him. I'm sorry to say that Galvana killed, had Sani killed. I saw the whole thing. Killed? No. No, why did she have to? I'm sorry. I suspected that she might have killed him, but I didn't want to believe it. He was going to take me away from Altus, but now... I'm very sorry. Do you have anywhere to go to? The captain of Sani's vessel, Golan, is a good man. He would offer me safety. I will escort you to him and ensure your safety. He will be near the docks. I shall take you to him. Come. Hello there. Captain Golan, is that you? Claire? We have been searching all over for you since Sanic was murdered. Are you alright? Who have you brought with you? I'm okay now. Galvena nearly killed me to make an example to the other girls. This is the man who saved me. Then we are in his debt. Thank you, friend, for saving Claire. Is there anything that we can do to repay you? If Senek was still alive, he would offer you his life. We need no reward, good sir. Hey, would you blow me, however, needs to know a way into the asylum. Senek was to tell us before he was killed. Spellhold? Well, now, I'm not sure if you would even want to get in there. People that go in don't usually come back out again. But I see that you are determined, so be it. I'll say what I know, though it won't be of tremendous help. Only two kinds of people get in there, coward wizards and deviants, people with special conditions of the mind. Tell me about the coward wizards. There's really one, only one representative of the coward wizards here, and he's long since given up their rigid discipline. The place doesn't suit it. His name is Perth the Adept and he is seemingly free to come and go from Spellhold all he wants. Uses a ward stone to pass the gate, I think. You might uh, convince him to give it up. He might take a bribe, bribe, but likely your meeting with him will have to be violent. Um, how about those judged to be deviant? How are they admitted? Well, on the mainland you would have to cause one heck of a magical disturbance. And if you've survived the Coward Wizard's Wizard reprisal, you might get sent here. There, here on the island itself, we don't work like that. We don't care about magic. Dasherik uses Spellhole for another reason. Dumps his enemies there, sometimes his friends too. Other than Troublemakers, the Asylum also holds mages and others with actual mental instabilities. They can prove quite dangerous and are better locked away. A little too much salt water can taint the mind that it's not uncommon for someone to lose their grip. Desherik is the one that can order them confined. Prove to be unstable and Desherik might send you there. The trip won't be gentle though. His chambers are a good ways west of here. A large building tucked against the hills. The tell the doorman I sent you. Thanks, that's all I need to know. Alright then. Still don't know why you want to get in there. I've heard even more screams than usual from there. However, I thank you for your assistance. Okay. So we have some information and we will end the video here. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.